Hey everyone, I'm Marissa with AIS, and today I'm giving you a quick start demo to help get you and your team members ready to use your new device. This quick start guide is for the Kyocera Task Alpha 6053CI and 7353CI series machines, and it applies to all of the Kyocera Task Alpha copiers, also known as multifunction printers or MFPs. Let's jump right in. Before loading your paper into the machine, make sure to fan the paper once or twice. Fanning your paper creates air between your pages and breaks up any pages that could be stuck together. To avoid jams, make sure the gates or the guides are closed tightly against the machine so that the paper isn't loose in the paper tray. Unlike other MFPs, you'll notice these paper drawers are soft closing, which is a nice little touch that many of us enjoy. The paper path on these machines is simple. You can think of the paper path as a big letter C as the flow feeds off to the right. The paper comes up to the heating unit and to the imaging unit and fuser. Then it makes its way to the stapling unit or the finisher. By the way, anything inside or on these machines that's labeled with a blue tab means it can be touched. There's an additional transport unit in the lower drawer that takes the paper from tray four and moves it across the machine. The misfeed areas are on the right side of the machine. On the bigger machines like this one, you'll see the fuser in the misfeed fuser area. For the smaller machines like this one, the whole unit folds down. You also have access to the lower paper drawers. So if the machine ever stops and tells you to clear the areas, this lower misfeed area is where you gently pull the jammed paper out from if you have a problem. The dual scan document processor is a single-sided duplex automatic document feeder. This means when you place originals onto the document feeder, the paper feeds through the machine once. Since there are two scanners, one on the top and one on the bottom, it scans the front and back of a sheet of paper in a single pass. All of the copying is done on the small slit glass not the large platen or glass where you place an original. So if you notice a line down the page of your copy or scan, it's because the slit glass is dirty. The back side of the slit glass is here. So if you get a line down the back of your page, it's because this slit glass is dirty. Included with the Kyocera machine is a wiping cloth for you to use to clean the slit glass gently. The only time you need to use the platen glass is if something cannot be fed through the document feeder. If you place a single page on the platen glass, make sure it aligns perfectly on the upper left-hand corner where the arrow is. Even if you're copying something thick or bulky like a book, do not place it in the center of the glass. Instead, align it with the top left corner where the arrow marks the spot. This will ensure your original is positioned correctly. This machine has four individual toners and you'll notice that all of them are sealed and cannot be opened. When the machine displays 0% toner remaining, You'll open the toner door and the individual toner doors will automatically open, presenting you with the empty toner containers. On the smaller machines, the waste toner is located under the main toner door. Also on the smaller machines, the black toner is recycled and it's used as the waste toner container when the black toner becomes empty. The waste toner container on the larger machines is located here on the side you'll see a blue tab that you can lift and slide out to remove the toner bottle. Then you can simply grab a new toner and slide it back into place. Also, all of these Kyocera toners can either be recycled by tossing it in your office recycling bin or sent back to Kyocera, whichever is most convenient for you. You may not know this, but Kyocera covers all recycling shipping costs for your toner bottle returns. This is your adjustable touch keypad display and home screen. If you're on a setting and need to return to home, just press the home button right here. On the home screen, you'll see the main functions, copy, send, custom box, which is for job storage, job box, which is for printing and holding, USB drive, which is located right here on the side of the copier, and ID card copy. When pressing the copy setting, six different tabs will appear on the screen. The first is the paper and media selection. Anything highlighted in blue on the screen means it's active or has been selected. The machine will automatically detect the paper you insert. So as long as there's a matching paper source on screen with what you have placed inside the machine, the copier or printer will automatically select it for you. 
At any time, you can also manually choose any of the paper drawers or the multi-purpose tray. If you choose the multi-purpose tray, select Paper Set, which gives you a list of standard paper sizes to select from. For example, say you have a standard letter size paper, but you need to change the media type. Here are all the different media types, such as labels, cardstock, thick paper, or letterheads. Selecting the correct media type allows the machine to make necessary adjustments to put the image on the page properly. Make sure to note that by pressing the yellow reset key right here means you'll be resetting the device to its original settings. This is important in case you feel like you need to start over. The second tab under the copy setting is the zoom feature. You'll see various presets for reduction and enlargement. You can also change the settings to auto based on the size of paper you're using. The auto setting will automatically match the magnification required to match the paper size you selected. Third is the color selection feature. This feature allows you to choose auto color, which means that if some of the pages are in black and white and some of the pages are in color, it will automatically switch to match the document. This feature also allows you to print or copy a document in full color or black and white only. The fourth tab is the duplex feature. In order to print or copy on one or both sides of each page, you can select one-to-one, one-to-two, two-to-one, or two-to-two. Two. If you select more on the screen, you have the option to select book copy. This allows the device to print your pages like a book, either a book with one-sided pages or a book printed with two-sided pages. As a reminder, if you're copying a book placed on the glass, you must align the page in the top left corner of the slit glass. The fifth tab under the copy setting is Combine. This setting is used for an ID card copy. The sixth tab under the copy setting is the staple feature. If your copies require staples or hole punches, this setting gives you the option to choose any position you want on the page for the staples or holes. For hole punching, you can either select a two hole punch or a three hole punch. One thing to note is that these machines can only punch the leading edge that's going through the machine. It cannot turn the page and hole punch the sides. Scanning on a Kyocera device is referred to as send, which you'll see here on the home screen. The reason we use this term is because the user is taking a paper document, digitizing it, and forwarding it to a destination, such as an email, a folder in the cloud, or a fax. Once pressing the Send setting, you'll see the Destination screen. This allows you to access the address book through the One Touch keys, or you can manually enter an email address. This machine can hold up to 1,000 One Touch address book keys. You can even select multiple contacts to send your scan to. Once selecting the destination, press the Quick Setup tab. This screen will show you the six main functions of scanning. Number one, color selection. Color selection gives you the option to select scanning in black and white or in color. Number two, scan resolution. Generally, the resolution defaults to 300 dpi or dots per inch, but can go as high as 600 dpi. Just remember, the higher the resolution, the larger the file size when sending and storing. Number three, density. The density setting allows you to increase or decrease the saturation of the scan, resulting in a lighter or darker image. Number four, two-sided book original. This feature gives you the option to select one or two-sided scanning of your document. Number five, continuous scan. Say you want to scan a series of photographs that cannot go through the document handler, but also have additional pages that can go through the document handler. This setting allows you to scan both the photographs and the pages separately, but bundle them together and output them as one file. Number six, file format. File format gives you the ability to choose the final format of your scan, such as a PDF, TIFF, JPEG, high compression PDF, Microsoft Word, Excel, or even PowerPoint file. If you choose more, you can set the compression levels, which will change the size of your file, Set Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, if you want your document to be converted from an image to text and editable or searchable in the future. You can also scan in a PDF or a PDFA format, which is a certified PDF file format, so that it cannot be compressed, 
encrypted, or changed in any manner for long-term preservation and archival of electronic documents. Last, you can also set a password for the file through the encryption feature. On this machine, you can actually set two passwords. This feature has two options. The first password feature means you cannot open the document without the password. The second password means you cannot edit or print the document, and you can only view it once receiving it. The additional tabs on the scan screen are Original Sending Data Format. This tab allows you to change settings, like custom original sizes for mixed-sized originals and long originals, just to name a few. Color Image Quality. This allows you to choose Auto Color, which means that if some of the pages are in black and white and some of the pages are in color, it will automatically switch to match the document. This feature also allows you to scan a document in full color or black and white only. Advanced Setup. This allows you to enter the job name and number, as well as the date and time. So when the document is scanned directly to a folder on your network, the files will already be pre-named using this feature. Believe it or not, we've only gone over some of the most basic functions of these machines, just so that you can get started using your new Kyocera MFP. For more extensive training, be sure to reach out to our service department and keep a lookout for more quick start videos from us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, The Copier Channel. Thanks for watching. Remember, you can worry less with AIS. I'm Marissa, and I'll see you next time.